For many of us in the diaspora, we have often wondered why this beautiful island state, has not been able to overcome all the obstacles that's been thrown at them. The people of Haiti are brave, resilient, full of culture, beautiful, and incredible in every aspect of the word. But despite being the first nation, that has successfully dismantled the institution of slavery, it seems like for some reason, they still fall short when it comes to competing on the international stage. As we all know, change is inevitably coming to the island, and in that spirit, I compiled a list of ideas, of what some of us can start working on in the meantime, in order to emancipate the Haitian people from the hell, that has been inflicted upon them. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, Mystery of History, please consider to do so as soon as possible, the link is in my bio. Number 1, Introducing GMO into our food supply. Haitians are battling a severe hunger crisis right now, because of food shortages. In order to feed 12 million people on the island, as quickly as possible, we need to farm and harvest at an unprecedented speed. Based on the research of the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine found in a 2016 review of more than 1,000 studies, that GMO crops don't pose a health risk to humans. I think if we're able to introduce GMO in our food supply, we will be able to curve the hunger crisis that has plagued the country for decades. Number 2, Being Tougher on the Criminal Elements Because crimes have become rampant on the island, we need to adopt tougher punishments, such as years of hard labor for gun possessions and kidnappings, death sentences for treason, bribes and corruption, as well as life in prison for human trafficking and predatory behaviors against minors. In order to enforce these laws, we need to have the proper institutions in place, which brings me to, number 3, Decentralization. The number one problem we have in the country, is the fact that everything is centralized in Port-au-Prince. Haiti has 10 departments, and each department should be able to be autonomous, to a certain extent. Because Port-au-Prince is the capital of the nation, whatever happens there impact all the other 9 departments, and that shouldn't be the case. Each departments need to have their own international airports, their own seaports, their own department of motor vehicles, their own passport agencies, their own power plants, their own justice systems, mayors, their own economy, etc. Do you get the idea? By decentralizing the country, each department would be competing to make lives easier, and better for their citizens. Which in return helps tremendously with the corruption problem. Number 4, Infrastructures and Institutions Developments. The sector of infrastructure and institutions in Haiti, is literally empty, which creates tremendous opportunities for us in the diaspora that are up to the task. We need apartments, hospitals, schools, roads, malls, airports, seaports, jails and prisons, courts, insurance companies, taxi companies, mining companies, railways and so forth. Haiti is an untapped resource, and once we understand the value of it, we will all rush to get a piece. Number 5. Tourism. Most Caribbean countries' economies relied heavily on tourism, and we shouldn't be any different. Haiti has a lot to offer, when it comes to tourism, even more than some surrounding islands, and we need to capitalize on that. Our history is nothing short of magnificent, our artists are top tier, and our culture is out of this world. We need to be able to show people what we have, which in turn brings more money, and investors to the island. I have many other ideas when it comes to Haiti's development, but I wanted to focus on these fives, and if you yourself have some ideas, please don't hesitate to share it with us, until next time, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Thanks.